Aloha everyone. In this video, we're gonna discuss hotel slash resort zoned short-term rentals on Maui, and I'll show you exactly how you can find them. So as a Maui real estate broker, a question I'm getting a lot lately is whether or not I would buy a short-term rental property on Maui right now. And the quick answer to that question is yes, absolutely. But I would only consider buying within a small group of properties that meet a very specific criteria. Look, even with everything that's happened on Maui since the fires in August of 2023, vacation rental properties are still being bought and sold on the island every single week. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly which properties I would recommend for anyone considering buying a vacation rental property on Maui in 2024. But first, I think it's important to discuss why owning a short-term rental property on Maui is so desirable. Well, it's the combination of both personal use plus investment. Most people that buy vacation rental properties in Hawaii desire the ability to both use the property for their own vacations and also rent the property out when they're not using it themselves to help cover the cost of ownership. Properties that only allow long-term rentals don't allow the same flexibility because long-term leases on Maui are required to be a minimum of six months and are more typically for 12 month periods or longer. And this makes it very difficult to use the property for your own vacations. So now that Maui County is attempting to phase out short-term rentals that exist in apartment zoning, the vacation rental properties that operate in hotel slash resort zoning are now much more desirable. Look, we don't know the outcome of the attempted phase out at this point but if you want to be sure that you're buying a property that can continue to rent out on a short-term basis into the future, you should definitely be focusing your search on properties that are located in hotel resort zoning. And if I were buying the property for myself, I would also eliminate any properties from the search that have serious beach erosion or past flooding issues. And one more thing, I would also eliminate leasehold properties from the search. But with so many condos currently listed on the market, how do you know which ones are in hotel resort zoning? Well, I got you covered. I wanted to make it easy for my clients who are considering buying vacation rental properties on Maui to start their search. So I created a brand new webpage on a brand new real estate website that I just launched and this particular page is set up to only display properties that are in hotel resort zoning that are also fee simple and don't have any major issues with beach erosion or past flooding. I'll share a link in the description below to the web page so you can browse the current inventory of short term rentable properties on Maui that I would consider buying myself. At the time of this video, there's more than 130 different condo listings that are currently available that I would recommend. Now, by default, the list is sorted by newest listings first, but you can easily sort by price as well. And as you can see, as of right now, the most affordable properties that fit all these criteria start in the high $600,000 range and go all the way up to well over $15 million. You can also customize the search by property size or a particular price range simply by entering the number of bedrooms, bathrooms, and your price range. In addition, if you're starting to get serious about your search to purchase one of these properties and would like to receive automated emails whenever a new listing that matches all of your search criteria hits the market, you can simply hit the saved search button and fill out your information. And if you want help setting up the saved search, feel free to reach out to me directly and we'll make sure to get you taken care of. Now at the top of the page is a list of all the different condo complexes that fit all of my important criteria that we just discussed. Take a look and let me know in the comment section below if you think there's any communities that I should add to this list. This list of communities is also clickable 
so you can easily look at individual complexes on their own. Now, all of this being said, we all know that short-term rentals on Maui are a very sensitive subject right now. So it's important to keep in mind that the proposal to phase out short-term rentals is only for the properties that exist in apartment zoning. All of these properties are in hotel resort zoning and they are not part of the controversy. Look, we really don't know if the bill to phase out short-term rentals in apartment zoning will succeed in the long run, but if it does, these hotel zone properties could see an increase in rental revenue and property value just because of the drastic reduction in supply of properties that offer this amount of flexibility. So if you're considering buying real estate on Maui and you're looking for an experienced real estate broker that you can trust, I'd be happy to be your guide throughout the process. And vacation rental properties are just one of my areas of expertise. I've helped clients buy all different types of properties and I work with clients from all walks of life. I will customize your search to help you achieve your goals, whatever they might be. And I'll connect you with my trusted property managers, mortgage brokers, building inspectors, and more along the way. I'll share my contact info in the description below. Feel free to reach out to me if you want to continue the conversation. That's all for this video. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel for more helpful real estate videos, please do so. And I hope to see you all on the next one. Aloha.